Hi, g'day folks, Pat Curley from LearnCigarboxGuitar.com with another short instructional video. This one is aimed at answering a common question that I get, and that's around uh, tone and the sound of my instrument and the, and the sound that I'm getting and, and how, I, how I'm able to do that. So I thought I'd put, a, get, put together a video to explain the various um, ways that, that I manage to do that. Generally, it comes down to three different things. Your hands, your guitar, and your amplifier. Now, your amplifier will include, you know, you might have pedals um, as well, but it's your amp, your amp setup, your, your instrument, and what you do with all that stuff. Okay? I'll start with the amp. Now, today I'm using, it sounds like this. Sometimes I'll, I'll use a bigger amp, sometimes I've got a, like a Vox. Um, can't remember the number now, but it's it's a beautiful little uh, one of their acoustic guitar amps. Um, and I've also I also often just go straight into my computer and use some of my uh, fancy software that I've got on there. It'll depend on what I feel like doing, what I what whatever the latest toy is, whatever I want to play with, um, or whatever the the sort of function of the video is, whatever's easier sometimes. But today for this one, I didn't want to go too fancy because that would kind of defeat the purpose of the video. I just wanted to use my smallest, most accessible amp, which is just this little um, this little valve number here. I'll just move the video at the risk of making it a little bit shaky. Yeah. So it's over there. Can we see that? Where are we? Here we go. I'll just move it in a little bit. Well, it's, it looks like there's an old uh, Epiphone. Uh, even a Gibson amp that kind of looks a little bit like that. Um, it's a, I just bought it off a mate. Um, so it's just got a legacy brand it's called. It doesn't really matter I suppose. Um, the main thing, it's a, it was a cheapie, I found it, and it's got valves in it, right? which is what I'm most concerned about. I'm just checking that I've got the camera in the right spot. Um, People often, I know, talk about uh, Roland amps. Roland make probably the best solid state or transistor amps. Um, and these days, you know, they've got effects and all sorts and they're pretty cheap. Um, so I know that they're very common. Um, but I I prefer the sound of the, the tubes. I used to sound warmer, more natural, more sort of more real to me. Yeah. So um, that's that's my amp. I don't I'm, at the moment. I'm not running into any pedals. It's just straight into the amp. Um, I've got it set on a flat tone, and there's nothing much going on over there. Yeah. The guitar. This is um, my three-string fretless that Nigel McTrustery made for me. It's a well-built instrument. It's solid. It feels great. Uh, as far as your tone goes, the main thing about this guitar is the pickups in it. Uh, I've got it set currently on this one here, a Juju pickup. And I love the, the warmth in that in that pickup. Um, it's just um, I've lots have had lots of guitars over my time, and and I don't think I've ever heard a better sounding pickup. Um, there's the different ones, but this one is they're, they're special. Yeah? Um, so that's that's my juju, and it's just got that real characteristic warmth to it. Right? The mortal coil, made by uh, Mark Wilmot up in Brisbane, Australia, is um, is this one here. Yeah, and you can hear that's got a uh, sort of more of a mid-range to it, um, and it's, um, it's got a lot more gain in it, gain in it as well. Um, and I use that if I want that sort of sound. So for a, a more sort of old-timey sort of blues um, or, a, or a heavier rock thing, I'll go that. Um, usually with my the videos that you see me on YouTube, uh, for instructional videos, I've got it set to the Juju. And it sounds like that. Yeah. I've 
default. I tend to have the tone control set at about seven or eight as a default. Um, I'll change it if I need to, but that's generally where I tend to go. Strings, I don't pay too much attention to strings unless they're really old and rusty, then I'll change them, but I'll just find whatever sets laying around. Um, I do insist on a, a unwound string on the top, that unwound. That's a lot more brightness to it than the wound string. Um, even though it's a different pitch there, you would have heard the, the wound string. Has that sort of, yeah, the more sort of brighter tone to it. Yeah. Thicker strings tend to have a richer sound, thinner, thinner strings, a thinner sound, uh, which sometimes is what you want. Um, for a, sort of a country bluesy sort of tone, depending on what the rest of your setup, you might prefer a thinner string. Um, but for this setup, I, 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 I'll get as thick as I can on the on that top string, um, as long as it's unwound. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I don't pay too much attention to strings other than that. Um, don't let them wear out. The main thing is the pickups. Uh, get good ones, even if you're not going to get one of these ones. Please don't put in those cheap factory made imported um, you know dollar fifty whatever they cost I don't know I don't even bother to look at them um, pickups they you you put all this time and energy and money and care and love in workmanship into an instrument please don't spoil it by putting um, a rubbish pickup in it yeah? and, that, and that's what they are they're rubbish yeah? okay. Um, that's if you're looking at getting a good tone out of your guitar make sure you've got good pickups in it the final thing is your hands um, not only not only your hands but also um, your, your ear and, and this, your whole approach to your music what you're trying to make it will come out as you get to your guitar if your technique is up to it um, your right hand technique is important uh, sometimes I'll use a, a pick a thumb pick and that has a different sound to, to that yeah so if I really want to make sure that I've got that driving bass I'll use that if I've got a long gig I'll always use a thumb pick just so that I don't wear my thumb out um, these strings on the bass can be pretty thick and heavy um, um, sometimes I'll use picks, sometimes on my fingers, sometimes I'll just play with my finger. There is a different tone there. If I hit it with my nail and then my finger, the pad of my finger, you can hear there's a much different tone there, so that'll make a difference. Most people won't be bothered growing their nails. I, I play all the time, so I, I do bother with it. Um, and I, it's just the way that I've always learnt. And other people do it differently, and that's fine, but... Uh, you will get a different tone depending from the from the pad of your finger. I like that tone. Sometimes it's not practical to use my fingers all the time. Um, but again, that's another consideration. The main thing, the main consideration though with your hands though, is that it works. Is that you're fluent in your right hand. That whatever sound you want to make, you can make that. You, if you want it to be loud, you can make it loud. If you want it to be soft, you can go soft. If you want it to be fast, you can go fast. That you are not held back by what your hand can do as far as your right hand goes left hand uh, the type of slide i guess is a consideration a lot of people rave on about the tone of your slide and really i i can't pick it uh, most of the time i do like a big heavy one cause just because it feels better but you know there's that and with a glass one Maybe there was a difference there, but you know, I couldn't hear it. I've got a lot of different slides, and some that I prefer better than others. I've got a Rocky Mountain uh, ceramic one that I love. It's a beauty. Um, again, it's a big, thick one. So I just like the weight of the thing. That's for me is more of a consideration than the difference in tone. I can't hear a big difference in tone. 
between the slides. Other people will disagree and I'm more than happy for that to happen. That's fine. Um, but, you know, I mean, from what I just played then, I think, you know, there's not a great difference compared to other things. Yeah? Your left hand, the main thing with your left hand is, again, your technique. So I've got two other videos out there, uh, one on intonation, intonation, and one on uh, vibrato. They're both very closely related because you need to have uh, sound intonation in order for your vibrato to work. If you're playing, for example, like that, and you're missing the note, and your intonation is all over the place, it will sound terrible, even if everything else is fine, and that kind of affects your tone. If not, strictly speaking, it, it does make the listener go, whoa, please stop, yeah? which is kind of what a poor tone does as well. Yeah? So hit the note properly, please, yeah? with your slide, please. Intonation will directly affect your vibrato too. It'll also directly affect your approach to your note. So, if you want to hit a note slowly like that and really grease it, you'll need to be really precise with your slide. So loud and soft, right hand, um, just sort of greasing the note, coming up to it slowly from behind, uh, hitting it precisely. Whether or not you play vibrato. All those type of things. I've got so much in my courses is, is about technique. Primarily, that's what it's all about, really. The songs and, and examples and solos and the rest of it are ways for you to practice your technique. But all, all my courses are about learning how to use your hands properly so that you can then go away and play. Um, so there's way too much there for me to cover now. But you, just to be aware that to get a good tone, you need to have your hand doing the right thing. Yeah, so you, hopefully I could pick up any guitar at all and it would still sound like me, yeah? Uh, I know I can pick lots of guitar players. I can pick Eric Clapton on a, on a record, uh, on a record, um, you know what I mean? Regardless, I, I might not know what guitar he's playing, but I know it's his fingers, yeah? Um, so that's a third really crucial consideration, right? Those three things again, your hands, your guitar, your amp. Amp, get a valve amp if you can. Guitar, make sure it's well built, but get the best pickups you can possibly afford. Um, your hands, your technique, it all comes down to technique. It all comes down to being able to reproduce the sounds you want to hear with your hands. Yeah? And, um, and it's important to tone because it's the sound that we want to hear. And if it sounds better, you'll enjoy it more and you'll play better. Yeah. All right, enjoy that one. See ya.